I learned very easily the difference between knowing the name of something and knowing something. Known as the great explainer, Feynman was revered for his ability to clearly illustrate dense topics like quantum physics for virtually anybody. Feynman understood the difference between knowing something and knowing the name of something and it's one of the most important reasons for his success. Most of us focus on the wrong type of knowledge. The first type of knowledge focuses on knowing the name of something like what it's called. The second focuses on actually knowing something that is understanding something. According to Feynman, the person who says he knows what he thinks but cannot express it usually does not know what he thinks. The Feynman technique helps you to understand, recall and explain anything under 10 minutes. Do you wanna know how? Because learning is not about remembering something difficult, it is about making things easier. From understanding a simple problem to understanding quantum physics. Everything from trigonometry to solar system to quantum physics can be tackled with this method. Feynman was also called the great explainer because he used to tackle things in his brain before delivering lectures to make things short. The Feynman technique is basically a mental model named after Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize winning physicist. It is designed as a technique to help you learn pretty much learn anything. So understand concepts you don't really get, remember stuff you haven't learned or study more efficiently. If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Why in fact this technique works? The more a learner focuses on the meaning of the information being presented, the more elaborately he or she will process the information. This principle is so obvious that it is easy to miss. Feynman technique is a four step process. Step 1. Choose a concept and write it down on a blank piece of paper. Write down an explanation of the concept on the page. Use plain English or whatever language you are comfortable with. It turns out that one of the ways we trick ourselves is that we use complicated vocabulary and jargon and it masks our lack of understanding. Pretend you are teaching it to someone else. Some of this will be easy. These are the places where you have a clear understanding of the subject. At other points you will struggle. These are the points where you have some gaps in your understanding. Step 2. Pinpoint any knowledge gap and identify any areas in your explanation that you can improve on. Only when you can encounter gaps in your knowledge, where you forget something important, not able to explain it, or simply have trouble thinking of how variables interact, you can really start learning. Now that you know that you got stuck back, you go back to the source material, reread it, relearn it. This is the work required to learn and skipping it leads to the illusion of knowledge. Step 3. Use an analogy. Try to simplify your language and if possible use simple analogy wherever possible. Like you can relate the movement of electrons in an atom with the juggling of a joker. Step 4. Simplify the concept by restructuring the information and use examples as needed. When we speak without jargon, it frees us from hiding behind the knowledge which we don't have. After all, I have a bonus tip for you. Explain it like I'm a 5 year old. This forces you to make it really simple. For more elaborate discussion, you can visit my blog for an in-depth information. The links are mentioned in the description. That's it. A simple and powerful technique to ensure you can rapidly learn and retain new concepts and information. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe.